Movies might be safe spaces for audiences to experience a few harm-free thrills, but making those stunning visual dynamics happen can be risky business for everyone involved. These movies in particular had some of the most horrifically fatal set accidents in Hollywood history. Gone in 60 Seconds 2 before the 2000 reboot of Gone in 60 Seconds crashed its way into the box office, the first film's director, Toby Hallecky, endeavored to make his own follow-up to the 1974 original, with what would have been called Gone in 60 Seconds 2. Hallecky already had a history of onset scares with the first film, as he suffered a nasty spinal injury while performing a big jump scene in the third act. Nevertheless, Hallecky returned to the story in 1989 and decided to ramp up the stunt surprises even further by having a tractor trailer collide with a water tower. Unfortunately, the cable supports for the structure snapped, knocking over a telephone pole, which crushed Hallecky under its weight. The Twilight Zone – The Movie John Landis's original segment in 1983's Twilight Zone The Movie, titled Time Out, starred actor Vic Morrow as a bigoted man named Bill Connor who's made to experience his own hatred through the eyes of others as he time hops through some of the 20th century's most heinous race-based conflicts. The segment was originally supposed to end with Bill rescuing two Vietnamese children from jungle warfare to redeem himself, but filming that scene took a horrific turn. Moreau carried the children, aged six and seven, across a river as a helicopter flew overhead to simulate the danger of the scene. The craft was helmed by an experienced pilot, but a mortar effect exploded too closely to the vessel after the director demanded that the pilot fly the craft lower than he'd been. The helicopter careened out of control due to the blast, and the impact cost the lives of all three actors. According to co-star Dick Peabody, Vic's last words in life, while holding two children and waiting for the director to say action, were, I've got to be crazy to do this shot. I should have asked for a double. Midnight Rider the Jessup Georgia set of Midnight Rider became a crime scene once director Randall Miller was charged with manslaughter after one of his crew members perished in a very preventable accident. The cast and crew was sent out to a local train trestle to film a scene with William Hurt laying in a bed on the tracks, and they were told they'd have a 60-second window to escape if a train came along. Unfortunately, it wasn't nearly enough time to get everyone to safety and 27-year-old camera assistant Sarah Jones was fatally struck by the vehicle, while several others were injured. The grisly incident was captured on film by the crew's cameras, and the film's director pled guilty to involuntary manslaughter as a result of the accident. He was released early from his sentence in 2016, but is still legally forbidden to be involved in a film in any capacity involving safety responsibilities. The Crow Actor Brandon Lee, son of martial arts superstar Bruce Lee, was all set to step off of his father's famous coattails with a starring role in The Crow, but his life was tragically cut short during what should have been a routine stunt gone horribly wrong in March 1993. A Magnum 44 pistol used in a scene was supposed to be loaded with a single harmless blank, but had a piece of a bullet still lodged in the chamber from earlier. When it was fired off by Lee's co-star Michael Massey as planned, the bullet pierced Lee's abdominal aorta. He could not be saved despite several hours of surgical effort. The studio and filmmakers had the option to table the pick altogether, with insurance covering the production expenses. However, they decided to forge on and finish with subs coming in to round out Lee's remaining pieces so that his life's last work could be shared. The actor who pulled the trigger later said, I wasn't even supposed to be handling the gun until we started shooting the scene, but they changed it. I don't think you ever get over something like that. The film was eventually released to resounding praise in 1994 and, contrary to urban myth, did not include the actual footage of Lee's fatal wound. Top Gun All those aerial trick maneuvers that made Top Gun such a maverick movie came at a devastating cost for one of the pilots who helped make them happen. The life of Art Scholl, an experienced airman, was lost during the production of the 1986 action-adventure classic after he lost control of his plane during an inverted flat spin and crashed into the Pacific Ocean. Eerily enough, the circumstances of the accident were strikingly similar to what happened in the events of the movie itself, in which the character Goose also perished after failing to recover from a flat spin. The move was considered relatively low risk for a pilot of his caliber, and it's impossible to know what exactly went so wrong that day, as his vessel and body were never found and it wouldn't be the last Tom Cruise movie to cost an experienced airman his life. American Maid The Colombian production of American Maid became the site of a tragedy when two pilots lost their lives in a plane crash on the set. The film, which gives cinematic life to the true story of Barry Seal, a pilot who ran covert operations in Central America for the CIA, 
required a lot of aerial shots and acrobatics in dangerous conditions. And in September 2015, one effort to return for more sky shots became catastrophic when the plane crashed near a small village. Local villagers reportedly discovered the wreckage shortly after witnessing the crash and found that all three pilots inside were alive, albeit burned. By the time medical assistance arrived, however, only one was alive, while the other two had passed away. The families of the deceased brought legal action against the studios, alleging that actor Tom Cruise and director Doug Liman demanded lavish shots during long days, which may have contributed to the cause of the plane's crash. Cruise himself had reportedly been on a helicopter flight through the same terrain just minutes before the fatal crash. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.